Yo, what's going on, guys? Today we have a 2013 Duramax Chevy Silverado. You know what I mean? I'm about to go ahead and get into it, get into it. So I broke down this video nice and slow. So what I'm doing here now is I'm taking my 516. I'm taking off the little bolts that's connected to the wires and also the glow plugs. As you see, look at me. I'm breaking it down nice and slow for y'all. Nice and choppy and slow, you know what I mean? I'm getting it right. Okay. I took out the little bolts now. Okay. As I'm taking out them little 516s. Okay. After I take out them little nuts, the 516 nuts, I'm taking out the wires, out the glow plugs right now, as you can see. I'm just explaining to you what that is. So I'm taking the wires off now. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to take my 12 millimeter socket. And now I'm taking out the glow plugs right now, as you can see. I'm just breaking everything down nice and slow so y'all get the drift and the hang of it. And you ain't got to apply that much pressure to take them off. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. So now they all loose. So now all I did was unscrew them off of my hand. And then now, as you can see, they're all off. Boom. 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 All right. Let's go. Okay, now, what I'm about to get into right now is, guys, I'm about to put the glow plugs back in there. So, I'm going to um, put some anti-seize on one of the glow plugs. Now, you know what I mean? I'm just making sure it lines up. Boom, boom, boom. The correct way. Real quick. Rip over this anti-seize so I can put on this own um, glow plug. And remember, guys, when you own, um, <clears throat> go to put this anti-seize on here, right? You don't wanna you don't wanna go like with no heavy, heavy coat. You just wanna go with a little light coat on it, you know what I mean? So next time when you go to do them, they'll come out more easier. They won't seize up to the side of the motor or the block in the motor. Alrighty. So you see that? I'm just dapping it on now. Getting it right, getting it right. All right, and then when you go to put these glow plugs back in there, watch how I do it. So you just want to guide it back into the hole. And then when you guide it back into the hole, you want to twist it in there by hand so you can make sure that it's going in there the right way, not crick it the right way. Twist it in back with your hand, as you can see what I'm doing now. Oh, yeah. I'm just getting it right. Okay. That one in there. All righty. On to the next. On to the next. And they are AC, AC Deco glow plugs, too, by the way. I got these from O'Reilly. Shout out to my boys up there at O'Reilly, by the way. Brandon, Kevin, Matt, Edwin, and all of them. You know what I mean? All right, so what I'm doing now is um, pow, 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 putting a little bit more anti-seize on there, as y'all can see. I'm getting it right now. I'm going to take it, you know, and put it back in the hole like I did the other one. And you just do that for both sides. <clears throat> it's the same way for both sides. I'm going to hand screw them back in there. Two down and two more to stick in there. And then we'll hit the other side, the driver's side. So it's the same way as the passenger side will be as the driver's side. <clears throat> All right. All right. Dapping that thing on her. Okay. Gonna put him back in that hole. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gotta lube it up, man. You know, you can't go in there on dry. You know what I mean? You're gonna get him up in there. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Yes, sir. 
All right, got them up in there. <clears throat> All right. Last one right here. Gonna get him out this. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto parts. <laughs> nah, they're not sponsoring this video, by the way. You know what I mean? I just like going there because I feel like they're better than AutoZone, you know, and all the other parts stores. That's just my preference. All right. Put this last one in here. Tighten him down right now. I'm getting the right with my hand, making sure he's in the hand tighten. Okay. Okay. Get him right, get him right, get him right, get him right, right. All right, boom. So now you're going to take your 12, and then now you're going to Tighten up on them. You remember, you don't want to tighten them up too tight, but you want to tighten them up right. You know what I mean? You can feel it. So don't don't OD trying to put no power on it. You're going to feel it. Like, when they tighten up, they tighten. Don't, don't OD with it. You can feel it. There we go. Tighten them up. Mm. Mm. Get them right. Get them right. All right, on to the next. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. He tightened. I'm going to tighten. I'm going to take him out. On to the next. To the next. I'm getting them right, getting them right. And remember, you don't want to put heavy, heavy force on it, just a little tight. Because they will snap easily and break, trust me. All right, so now, as you got them back in there, you see I'm putting the wire. Back on the glow plugs. Okay. Put the wires back on now. Make sure they're back on now. All right. So I'm explaining what the wires are for. Basically, those are like spark plug wires, but instead they're glow plug wires. And as you put those back on, you're going to take your 516 nut, and then you're going to screw it back on there. Screw it back on there by hands, guys. Trust me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, pretty much. So, let me grab the little bolts now. All right, all right, all right. As you can see. Okay, I'm putting a little bolt back on that hand tighten. All right, my cameraman, get me right. All right. All right. Shut up, my boy. Papa. All right, he gave me right. Okay. Putting that 516 nut back in there. <clears throat> okay. All right, all right. Boom. And then I'm back on there. And then after I put them 516 nuts back on there, you're going to see. You notice I'm putting them on there by my hands. But then, I'm going to come back on my 516 after I get all of them on there by my hand.
tighten it up right now. All right. Get them right, get them right. Remember, you don't want to tighten them up too tight. And then make sure you keep your... That wall right there off the firewall. You just notice I'm putting my head back there to make sure it ain't touching the firewall. All right. And remember, you can tighten it up with one hand because you're going to see me put my finger back there in a second. So I won't touch the wall. There we go. See, I put my finger back there so it won't slide up and touch the wall because you don't want that to happen because it'll burn them off. Trust and believe that. Keep them off that wall as much as possible. You gotta put one finger back there while you tighten it up. Trust me, it's worth it. All right. Let me do this one as well. Put that finger back there because you don't want to touch that wall again. All right. And after that, you're all done. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Family of the Jacks. Let's go.